Today, we are going to reveal one of the greatest mysteries of the scientific world, the WOW signal discovered in 1977, which remained a mystery for many years. Yes, the source of this legendary signal has finally been identified. Let's dive into the details of this exciting and inspiring discovery. On a hot August night in 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University recorded an extraordinarily strong radio signal that lasted for 72 seconds. The signal was so impressive that when Jerry Amon, a member of the team, saw the printout of the signal, he had to write WOW in capital letters next to it. This led to the signal being named WOW. So why was this signal so important? The signal was very strong and of unknown origin. Since then, countless scientists have tried to find the source of this signal. Asteroids, exoplanets, stars, and even signals from Earth were all considered, but none of them could offer a satisfactory explanation. Some even thought it could be a message from aliens. The frequency of the signal corresponded to the natural frequency of hydrogen, 1420 megahertz. The importance of this frequency is that it is the frequency of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Last year, the Center for Solar System Science CPS team suggested that this signal could originate from a hydrogen cloud around a comet. This hypothesis also explained why the signal was never repeated. There were two important comets that caught the team's attention, P2008Y2, Gibbs, and 266 P. Christensen. These comets were in the region of the sky monitored by the Big Ear on the day the signal was recorded, but had not yet been discovered at the time. The team had the chance to test their hypothesis with observations from November 2016 to February 2017. They found that the radio signals from 266 P. Christensen exactly matched the WOW signal recorded 40 years ago. This provided strong evidence that the source of the signal could indeed be a comet. They examined three other comets to confirm the results. P2013, EW90, Tanagra, P2016, J1A, Panstars, and 237P Linear. These observations yielded similar results, meaning that these comets were also emitting radio signals at 1420 MHz. While the researchers cannot say that the WOW signal definitely came from 266P Christensen, they said it was most likely caused by a comet. In 2016, CPS suggested that comets and the hydrogen clouds around them could be the source of the WOW signal. 200 radio observations made between November 2016 and February 2017 confirmed this hypothesis. The radio signal emitted from 266 P. Christensen at a frequency of 1420.25 MHz was identical to the signal recorded in 1977. Moreover, other celestial objects emitting at this frequency were not within 15 degrees of the comet. The team observed that the signal disappeared when they moved the radio telescope away from the comet and reappeared when they turned it back. This discovery showed that comets can emit radio signals and that these signals can be strong. It also revealed that the WOW signal recorded in 1977 originated from a natural solar system object. This brought a new understanding of space exploration and opened new doors for future research. The CPS team's process of verifying this discovery required a very detailed and meticulous work. First, a detailed analysis was performed on the coordinates where the WOW signal was recorded. This analysis revealed that comets P2008Y2, Gibbs, and 266 P. Christensen could have been in the region where the signal was recorded in 1977. These comets had not yet been discovered at the time, requiring new observations to confirm the hypothesis. The observations began in November 2016 and lasted until February 2017. During this time, the CPS team closely followed Comet 266 P. Christensen and Comet P2008Y2. Gibbs. During these observations with radio telescopes, radio signals were recorded at a frequency of 1420.25 MHz. 
The fact that this frequency exactly matched the WOW signal recorded in 1977 was a major step in confirming the hypothesis. To further solidify these findings, the team examined three other comets, P2013 EW90, Tanagra, P2016 J1A, Panstars, and 237P slash Linear. These comets also emitted radio signals at a frequency of 1,420 megahertz. This confirmed that hydrogen clouds around comets could be the source of such radio signals. The researchers conducted several experiments to confirm that the hydrogen cloud around the comet was indeed emitting signals at this frequency. When the radio telescope was turned one degree away from the comet's coordinates, the 1,420.25 MHz signal disappeared. When the telescope was turned back to the comet, the signal reappeared. These experiments showed that the signal was indeed coming from the comet. This discovery showed that comets can emit radio signals and that these signals can be powerful. It also revealed that the WOW signal recorded in 1977 originated from a natural solar system object. This brought a new understanding of space exploration and opened new doors for future research. What other mysteries do you think this discovery could unlock? What other mysteries do you think are waiting to be discovered in space? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting science news. We will continue to explore such interesting topics together. See you in our next video and stay tuned to space and science.